Good afternoon. This is uh, George Adventure here. Um, slash EDC Leatherworks. I'm down here today. Made a made a sheath. Um, another sheath for a trapper. Uh, but the difference is I put a belt clip. So I bought three of these. I'm going to see how they hold up. They should hold up good. And I am in the process of sewing this thing. You can see. Uh, I don't use two needles. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I'll put this stuff in the, in the uh, sewing, sewing horse. But a lot of times on these small things, I just, I just sew one piece. This is a green and a brown I mix up. Kind of makes it darker green and OD. And I'm, I'm, on use, I'm using brown. I'm using brown thread uh, right here. So you can see. Come on down here. Uh, this should this should work out. It's got rivets in it. Got some rivets in it. Black rivets that matches the clip. Pretty stuff, tough clip. Now, I didn't have a black uh, rivet. The rivet holds this inside here, so I had to go with the brass, but that's fine. I don't think nobody will really care. I've got to find me some uh, black rivets that's got the flat end on, flat end on one side since, you know, it's going to be inside, but. So I'm just sewing this thing here. Uh, turned out good so far. Sure has. It's turned out good. Very good. Very, very good. This is some nylon thread. It's uh Pretty thick thread. It, it's heavy duty. It ain't going anywhere. I, I guarantee you that. It is not going anywhere. I double stitch sometimes just to give it a little more strength here. Uh, just to kind of, you know, work with it some, give it some. It makes it hard to go through the hole sometimes. But that's what we're doing, so I'm just gonna keep sewing, but you can see it uh I'm not through sewing it yet, but you can slide your trapper right on in there. Just like that. I also want to try a new knife that I bought. If I can find it, find what I did with it. Oh here it is. It is the it is a big stockman, and it is the um, Smoky Valley Sunrise and Deep Canyon Jig. It is a beautiful knife, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over this thing here in a minute, but I just wanted to see. Look at there. Ain't that beautiful? I may just keep this one for myself. Fits in there perfect. This is a big old knife right here, and I think I'm going to. My wife's supposed to get me one for Christmas, so to carry. So I think I'm gonna carry it for sure, since, especially since she bought it. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it and uh, carry it because when somebody gets you a knife, it makes it special. And that's just my opinion, but it does make it special. It makes it very special for you. So anyway, that's what I'm doing down here. So, uh, so I ordered this thing last week. Uh, I've just kind of, I've never really, I've got a couple of couple of these uh, large stockmans. I've never really carried them, but I've kind of had my interest peaked. Uh, I've watched some guys on YouTube, one of them's Doom Crew Shotguns, 
or Doom Crew Outdoors, and he he carries one. But so I, I have a I have a uh, uh, persimmon brown or harvest. I'm I'm sorry, persimmon orange, or it's a harvest orange. I can't remember, but it's it's a big it's a big stockman like this, and it's got the shotgun shield on it. So I was doing a review and doing a video on it, and it's on my YouTube channel, and I. I really never held it, but I thought, man, this thing, this thing is nice. It it, it feels good in your hand. Uh, you can see it's it's a good size knife. Uh, so it's it's uh, the handle of it is right at four and three eighths, almost four and a quarter, but four and three eighths. Uh, and this blade, the width of this blade, you know, the width of it here to here it's uh and the widest part is it's uh about five eighths of an inch uh the blade itself the cutting edge is two and seven eighths overall overall blade is three and a quarter uh and this thing this thing looks like a beast but i'm gonna start carrying me one you know I, I do carry a big trapper i love big trappers but I may, you know, I may swap over for a little while, you know, and uh, carry this. So I was, I was going to make a holster. See how it, see how it holds up. But this thing, as you can see, it is carbon, carbon steel. If you can see it right there, oh, uh, you can see that it's carbon steel. Got a, it's got engraving on the bolster, some stamping, carbon 1095. Uh, and then it's got K6X on the blade. And then on this side, the bolster on the other side don't have anything. I guess because it has it right here. Uh, it's got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dots. Uh, it doesn't have any, any, uh, kind of shield on it but i like that i love the shields but I, I like it it's something different but this is this is a nice knife man it's got good snap got some good snap now i hadn't checked to see if it's got gaps in it you know because if it does oh we in trouble we in trouble we got gaps so i'm gonna see oh man i don't see any light coming through that back spring or them those brass, uh, I don't, I don't see any right here, any of that. So, uh, I think it's a good one. No blade wobble. Oh, no blade wobble. No blade wobble. So, you know, bolsters are nice. Everything fits good. The blades line up good. So, uh, very good. I don't see any kind of gaps in the brass liners or the springs back here. So, I guess some of you guys, y'all can carry this thing because it's, it's almost perfect. It slides right in here. I'm being a smart aleck, but slides in here. I'm about done with this. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, I'm on a I may not care this one. I just may make me a different one. But I'm, I've been wanting to try these. I've been wanting to try these. Uh, I'm gonna put this beauty right here. But I've been wanting to try these uh, belt clips, uh, just to kind of see how they do. Uh, so hopefully, they'll they'll do good. Uh, hopefully. So we'll see. But. Uh, trying to find where I can stick my hole here. So yeah, hopefully they'll, hopefully they'll. Uh, this is this old sharp, sharp needle, man. This thing, this thing's like a spear. It'll, it'll stick you good. So sometimes I use, I use these pliers and make it a little less of a chance to stick me. But so I'll be done sewing this thing and in, in momentarily. I enjoy sewing leather. It's just, uh, 
It's just so gratifying. It's really relaxing. I'll come down here and put some music on. You know, I've been listening to Christmas music. Uh, but I'll put some rock on or, you know, Leonard Skinner or some Waylon Jennings or, you know, you never know. Maybe some Def Leppard. You just never know. Uh, so, anyway, I'm about done with this bad boy. And this thread will last, I guess, will last a lifetime. The very first time I tried sewing something, my little notebook I made, boy, it was terrible. I'm just telling you, it was it was terrible. Uh, I still care that little notebook. I got it in my pocket right now. Uh, I will probably make me another one for myself one day, but I just can hang on to it because it's kind of got a little sentimental since it was my first one. So take the take your little lighter and. Melt your, melt your ends and just mash them down. And they ain't going nowhere, brother. So, I think this thing turned out pretty good myself. Touch up a little bit. Little stuff here. Uh, so, it's, uh, touched up a little part of the stain, or dye, rather. But it's, this is a green. This is a green that I I just gotta just gotta sew this part here. But this is a green and a brown, uh, timber brown that I, I mix. I'll put a little brown with the green in a bottle and mix them up. And it it darkens it darkens the forest green. It makes kind of an OD looking kind of an OD looking dye. I think it's pretty. Uh, that's just my opinion now. Y'all might not think that, but I've sold quite a few of them. And I do make them dime with just the forest green. So anyway, I'm just about done with this bad boy. And it will either be in on my side or on my Etsy shop, www.etsy.com. And one more look at this, at this beautiful case. Large Stockman. Smoky Valley Sunrise is the bone. And you can see it's got some black in it. Right here, I tell you, man, I saw this. I saw this a few months ago, and they and they sold out of them. So I get, you know, I put my email address on there, so I'd get notified. And I got notified last week, and I ordered it. So there we go. It is beautiful. I love a case knife, man. I really do. I love a case knife. So, so anyway, I hope y'all hope y'all have a great Christmas. May be my last one until next week, but y'all have a great Christmas and God bless you. Oh, one other thing, subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it. Hit the like button. Leave a comment what you think about this bad boy. If you care stop and what you think about it. And y'all have a great Christmas. Remember what the season's about. It's, it's about Jesus Christ. Uh, you know, that's who it's about. Think about that. And if I offend you, I'm sorry. But, well, I'm really not. Lord and Savior is born. God bless you. And remember, remember, uh, a lazy man carries a dull knife. Keep your blade sharp, brother. Take care.